Hello all, welcome to this lovely summer day where we will look at these lovely book cabinets. Now, there will be a time when your teacher will say, bring all of their copies of the Federalist Papers to my classroom. And if you've ever been a TA before, you know that half the time you don't actually know where to look for them. This video ideally will help that. So in cabinet one, cabinet one closest to the stage, you will find that this is all of freshman English, right? The top three shelves and the bottom two are primarily for literature for composition. I'll show you the rest of those guides in just a second. Cabinet two, sophomore English and drama. Cabinet three, junior English and Shakespeare. Cabinet four is college composition and the beginning of uh, what we'll call uh, general literature because you'll see everything that's in here is not necessarily what is taught. From here, everything that is not necessarily taught is alphabetized by author last name in these three remaining cabinets. Now, what you'll notice is as you arrive at a cabinet, you will see this lovely, lovely list crafted by yours truly, which regards what books are to be found on what shelves. A copy of every single one of these is available in the front office and I have a copy. So if for whatever reason you doubt the validity of what's on here, be sure to contact one of us. You'll notice that shelf one to Kill a Mockingbird and Lord of the Flies is listed on here shelf two, shelf three, etc. If it's not on here, then it doesn't belong in this cabinet. So this will probably be the hardest thing to remember once you get books back, once you're supposed to return them to the cabinets, make sure that you look at this handy dandy guide that Miss Tiffany has, and that I have, that includes which books go into which cabinets. Because as this says, this is how this cabinet is supposed to look. This is how this cabinet is supposed to look. We want to make sure that we know where every book is and every copy of every book at all times. So, step one, as, you, as the TA, look at the handy dandy guide. Step two, go to the cabinet. Step three, get all of the books from a shelf without moving everything on there. Ah, make sure you keep the thing. If I'm getting copies of Fahrenheit 451, I'm only touching and moving copies of Fahrenheit 451. I'm not touching Brave New World. I'm leaving these here. Got it. So those stay. Step whatever next step I'm on. You take them to the classroom and you deposit them. Step, next step, whatever. When you see on the whiteboard that you're supposed to bring them back to the uh, cabinets, double check where they're supposed to be. When you double check these, then you can say, oh, copies of Fahrenheit 451 go into cabinet one, right? Not just, eh, me. oh, there's room on this shelf. I'll just stick them on here. No, don't do the thing. They go where they belong. Every single cabinet has a guide. Follow the guide. If you have any questions, let me know.